Hello and welcome to the video that walks you through challenge eight, which is about adding code for uh, a while loop that has an it and Hello, welcome to the video that walks you through challenge eight. Uh, here we'll be adding code to uh, to give us a loop, but that has an out a button that we can use to stop the process. So to do that, we're going to add what's called a while loop and a, a conditional statement called if else. All right, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and open the program. So let's find Vexcode V5 on our desktop. Double click. Let's open the file that we're going to be using. File. Open. We need to go to our 320 drive. So we go to this PC, then find your 320 drive. Then find the My Robotics folder, Student Files, Programming Challenge, and then Challenge 8. Once you're sure you've got the right file up there, we're ready to get started. All right, so let's go ahead and add our comment, which uh, explains what we're doing. So we're going to add code for a while loop and an if else conditional all right now before in the previous challenge uh, we added a, a loop which is a, a bit of code that has uh, that repeats a certain amount of code uh, as, as many times as you designate now forever loop will do it forever a repeat with a number will do it the number of times you repeat there's different types too. The one that we're going to be using in this one is a while. So um, what that means is while whatever condition is in this diamond is occurring, what a, whatever command is down here will occur as well. So I'll walk you through it. So, um, so let's go ahead and snap that in. Now, so while and Sometimes programming has a bit of a funky logic in the way that um, in the way that it talks about things. So, an example of that is while the bump switch is not pressed. In other words, nothing will happen until you hit the bump switch. Okay, or this condition will not be satisfied until you hit the bump switch. All right. So, while not bump switch pressed. Okay. Here's where we go back, and we have our if else. So if this condition happens, do this, or else do this. So, okay. So what's going to be happening in the if is, so let's go to and find our sensing. Go down to limit switch. Okay, so if limit switch is pressed, then spin the right motor forward. And also we'd like it to turn on the green LED light. Okay. So if the limit switch is pressed, it'll spin the right motor forward and turn the, the LED light, uh, light on. Uh, or else, in other words, if the limit switch isn't pressed, then this is what's going to happen. It'll stop the motor and it'll turn the light off. We go ahead and put that inside the while statement. And so what's happening here is basically what the code says is if the limit switch, so if the limit switch is pressed, it'll spin the right motor and turn the green LED light on. If the limit switch is not pressed, it'll stop the right motor and turn the green LED light off. Now it'll do that indefinitely until this condition is satisfied until the bump switch is pressed. All right, so let's go ahead and save. Then I'm going to download it to our controller. And then when I hit run, as you'll see in the video that's the short video that's following, it will execute that code.